warm-ups and booty bands. My preference is to a warm-up is to warm up the movement you're about to perform. Squats, then squat like 50% five reps, 60% four reps, 70% three reps, 80% two reps, 90% one rep, with percentage being of your working set weight. This is going to warm up your movement, including the muscles used, ligaments and tendons action, plus nervous system firing. It's going to warm up everything you need for the exercise. Do you need to do banded glute activation exercises? No. Do they increase activation? Yes, but so does the warm up protocol that I've just explained, and a lot more focus on the exercise you're about to perform while being more time efficient. You don't need to do an overload of booty bands thinking your glutes require them to wake up before your working sets. You do not even need these bands. Your glutes don't need waking up, they need warming up. If you can walk into the gym, your glutes are already awake. As for walking on a treadmill or rowing to warm up, save it for after your weight session. Increasing your body temperature is not warming up for the exercise. Now, a mobility drill may be beneficial for some people, but as to what and if so is going to vary very personalised to the individual. So pick up a barbell and stop crab walking through the gym like your pants have been pulled down around your ankles.